Generally speaking, the XR looks kinda like a love child of an RR and a GS, which is to say, a super sport and an adventure bike. A cut-down front fender leads the way with struts that double as deflectors to keep the swept area of the inner fork tubes clean and free from seal destroying grit. Inverted forks add some beef to the front end with a split bird's beak face as a reminder that yes, this is supposed to be an adventure bike. Asymmetrical headlights take up most of the real estate at the entry, and perched up top, a mechanically adjustable windshield punches a hole in the wind for less stress cruising at speed, and we've already established that the XR delivers plenty of the latter. The fairing flares out into a sport typical scoop that shrouds the coolers and widens the protective pocket before tapering off to nothing to leave much of the engine exposed. From here on back the flyline more closely favors the street bike half of its heritage with a 5.2 gallon fuel tank, that stops well short of a typical camel hump reservoir, with an aircraft style feeler cap and steep tumble down to the seat. A narrow waist makes for a skinny start at the pilot's pad, but it quickly flares out to form a relatively deep foot bucket with a decent rise to the pee pad so there's plenty of containment to help keep you aboard. Your passengers won't be so fortunate with only a set of JC handles and flip-out foot pegs to keep them aboard the stock bike, and the factory gives you an opportunity to exacerbate that situation with a trimmed down, sport bike style pillion section. Unfortunately, you'll have to avail yourself of some accessories to have any kind of realistic cargo carrying capacity as the stock bike comes sans any sort of baggage. However, if you're a fan of the Resident Evil franchise, or just someone who would like to own a piece of pop culture, the S1000XR is a reasonably affordable way to go. You see, it features heavily in the most recent installation dubbed the final chapter, as it's written by Alice across the apocalyptic hellscape. Pretty cool stuff. Am I right?